Hello, this is another Major Market Movement video blog update. I'm Quad G, and today we're taking a look at the long-term and mid-term Elliott Wave counts for USD JPY, which are multi-year and multi-month Elliott Wave movements. On the long term, we have I identified uh, years ago this ABCDE corrective fourth wave, which is a triangle. And the anticipation was for five waves to the downside to play out as a final thrust into a major bottom. And we certainly did realize that. With this major bottom, the expectation is that we'll get a full five wave impulse movement up to the upside for a wave one. I'll zoom in a little closer here, give you some more detail. This wave structure looks like we've got a 1, 2, 1, 2 embedded uh, three wave pattern off the start, which led to a three of three point of recognition thrust to the upside, which was followed by a triangle and a thrust for which is alternate, this flat triangle for wave four is alternate to the sharp wave two that was experienced earlier. And that finished wave three. And then over the last few months, we've the market has chopped sideways into what looks like another triangle pattern, which is also flat for a final wave four, which also alternates with this sharp move in wave two to the downside here. So the pattern is playing out very nicely, uh, structurally very sound as far as Elliott wave counting is concerned. And now the expectation is to see a final five wave thrust to the upside to finish out this pattern for wave one. Now this final wave up could very well come up to test this long-term multi-year trend line for a third time, or almost a fourth time if you consider this a test, but it's a little too far away to uh, consider it a, a good test. But that trend line currently is above at about the 107 handle. So I think this last thrust up will reach at least that amount, if not further, possibly up into uh, 112, 115 possibly to finish out this structure. And then after wave one is done, then we'll see probably a three wave corrective move to the downside and it could very well come all the way back down to the 80 handle. Considering that this thrust up here has never back tested this breakout. If you were to draw a trend line between wave four here and wave one, the market just careened right through that trend line resistance and never looked back. So I, I think that breakout point, which is roughly right around uh, 80 to 82, 83, is a prime target for a pullback eventually. But it may take a few years to get there. We'll zoom in a little closer. Here's wave three of four, which is, if we go back here, is this three and four right here. So we're looking in closer with a little bit more detail. And you can see over the last few months since the beginning of 2014, this market has just chopped sideways in several three wave combination type moves. And I think we have A, B, C, D, E complete for this triangle. And we're just starting our impulsive series to the upside. Wave two, it currently is in process and we are currently uh, looking for a bottom to get in and ride this advance to the upside. Once this five wave impulse is complete, then we'll be looking to get out of long positions and look to get uh, enter short for that very long uh, wave two correction to the downside. This whole Elliott wave pattern is highly dependent upon this critical support right here at 10107. If for any reason that level is broken, then this Elliott wave pattern is thrown out. It's no good. And we'll have to look for uh, some other pattern to develop. So between this upside move and the resulting correction, 
into Wave 2, you can see that there's thousands of ticks worth of uh, profit that could be had in the, taking advantage of the, these movements with some uh, short-term and mid-term trading. So if you're a trader and you're interested in getting, getting in on some of these movements, want to ride these waves with us, then consider signing up for a free 30-day trial with major market movements. And you can get some of my signals that I'll be sending it out to subscribers on a daily basis to capture some of these moves. So that's it for now. Good hunting and adios.